So today we're going to be speedrunning through Run, which is a game that I and I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably have really good memories for. So we're going to start the timer right there as we get the start. And now we're going to get going. So this game is pretty simple. You know, it's a simple landscape. It's pretty simple colors. Everything is simple. And, you know, it seems like it's starting out pretty easy in the beginning. We're not going too fast and there's not too much challenge, but there are 50 levels in this game. Once we get to the later levels, it gets a lot more difficult. But basically for this Flash game, you have a set amount of speed, so you can't go any further faster or any slower we kind of just go the speed we can so the main time saves are of course not dying and also try not to go on the walls as much as possible first of all you don't want to die obviously if you die you go back to the start of the level you are on it's not the worst thing in the world especially because the death animation and the death sequence is so fast but still if you took 10 seconds on that level died at the end then that's 10 seconds off your time you got and then as much as possible you also don't want to go on the walls so like right here i will and your character stops for just a second. We go faster, we don't stop. It's a pretty simple concept. I don't even know how I'm trying to explain it. But that's basically it. We want to try to find the best path to where we'll switch our gravity the least amount of times possible. And that sometimes is easier said than done. Switching gravity, first of all, it does lose you a little bit of time, but it gives you a little bit of a breather. Especially once we get to the harder levels, you don't get as much time to react and it's a little bit harder. But if you give yourself just that tiny bit of time, it will help. And our first and foremost problem is just not dying. I mean, hey, getting a good time is really nice as well, but I'm really focused on not dying that is my biggest concern because after all losing the tiniest bit of time to going on a wall it's not that bad but it is that bad if you are a world record contender like always i will have the world record speed run in my description but i recommend looking at this one because it is insane the person who set the world record for this game also set the world record for the fast and insane speed runs right now i'm just playing on normal speed but fast and insane those go even faster and i definitely recommend checking those ones out but the same man has all three speed runs and he's had all three speed run records for three years so honestly, I know this is an old Flash game, but I would love to see some more competition on these leaderboards. I would love to see someone try to take it. But you can start to see, you know, it's getting a little bit more difficult. There's getting to be more spaces in between, and that's making it just a tiny bit harder. Don't worry, you haven't seen anything yet. It's gonna get bad in a bit. I just have to make sure that it's in my mind that it is okay to use the walls. It might lose me a little bit of time, but I will lose a lot more time if I don't use them. <laughs> that is for sure. I mean, I have played this game a lot in preparation for the speed run, but I'm still not the greatest player in the world. I don't have these maps completely completely memorized or anything like that. Oh my god, that was so risky. <laughs> like right there, that probably wasn't the best route I could take. We're getting to more of an open space, which I really like. I love the art style that they went with for this game. It's really simple, but it's really cool. You have one solid color that you go through, and it's kind of trippy in its own way as we're walking through because the new stuff just comes in. It's kind of like a 3D game, but not really. And then you have the starry sky in the background, which is just one still image, but it just works really well. I think it works because we are moving forward and we have all these platforms, so it doesn't really look like it's a still image, but I don't know, there's just a distinct charm about this game, but I guess that's true for all the memorable Flash games. They just have something about them. And there goes my first death. Okay, it was bound to happen eventually. I didn't want it to happen this early in the game, but we'll accept it. We'll just try to not get any more anytime soon. Going for record in this game is probably one of the like toughest things in the world because, oh my God, there's another one. You can't die once and it is very easy to make mistakes in this game. I mean, obviously I've played this for a couple hours now, but I'm still not one of the greatest players in the world, but I can imagine to do these runs deathless, that would be insane, especially when you get to the faster speeds. But like I said, one person has all three world records, so I can only imagine how much time he spent on this game. Oh, and I kind of like this level. There's not much to do, but you kind of just keep rotating the screen those gaps are just small enough to where you can't jump through them which is kind of unlucky i don't know i like that level it has some charm about it and maybe part of that charm is because we're on a green land which is my favorite color fun fact but you can see we're getting to more areas where it's getting to be less and less platforms there is more blank space and once we get to these later levels we also want to make sure we're using the walls more often usually the game wants you to use the walls and will make the platforms on the walls a lot easier than it will from just your starting platform and i mean it's smart because if you're a player you don't want to use the walls it wastes time you know you have to wait for a second and you kind of just want to stubbornly go through it so the game kind of forces you to go and use the walls and i think that's just good game design oh god we're getting to some of the tougher levels i'm gonna need to concentrate a little bit more especially on things like this okay yeah i i, I need to concentrate more let's let's do that Okay, let's not have that happen to us another time, please. Oh, I'm forgetting for this level, all you have to do is this. Why? Ugh. Okay, yeah, I am I am choking right now. That That is what's going on. Okay, I'm just going to calmly do what I need to do. Please, game. I did not want to choke on one level, and I'm 
making the same mistakes. Please, game, just... I, I'm just gonna concentrate up. Okay, we finally made it through that level. That level's like my Achilles heel for some reason. I mean, it's not even that difficult of a level. It just trips me up so bad for some reason. I probably took a little too many deaths on there though, but we're just not gonna worry about it for now, you know? It just happens. We just gotta go through this entire rest of this game deathless. <laughs> That's gonna happen, right? We're getting more and more blank space and my heart rate is racing more and more. It would kind of be cool if I got like a heart rate monitor for these videos because I feel like, especially for some of these flash games, they get way more intense than they probably should. Maybe it's a good idea to invest in a heart rate monitor. Let me know what you think because I can guarantee my heart is going through the roof right now. Jesus. Oh God. And I think we're only about the halfway point of the levels too, so... Uh, we have so much more to do and so much more death as you can see right there. I just need to make sure I use the walls. That is my biggest problem when I'm playing this game. I don't use the walls enough. And that was also a really risky option for me to do right there. I do not think that was good, but I mean, I didn't die. So I got that going for me. But I'm learning right now that this is a very hard game to play and commentate over. <laughs> but I think this is about the 30 mark. So we only have 20 more levels, I believe. But that doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep my entertainment factors up and I'm gonna try to not die and just lose the run a thousand times. But oh God, it is getting scarier and scarier. <sighs> Come on, little blob guy. You can carry me to victory. I know you can. Okay, we're just gonna make it through here. I just have to make sure I use my walls and don't make stupid mistakes. The levels are getting a little longer too, so it means that if we do die on them, the punishment for dying is just so much more. And this is one that is very scary, okay? We're making it through. I think it's also the style of how the level comes to you. Kind of sometimes trips me up because it feels like things are coming faster or slower than they should. I probably should have just gotten used to it by now, but you know, it's hard, okay? Uh, I'm really having an existential crisis over run. <laughs> And this is my favorite level in the game. I love this level because you can see it's a very checkered pattern, but at the same time, there is a clearly defined path you can take if you're paying attention. I don't know. I just love this level. I think it's so well designed and so well designed that I wanted to play it again. And that's why I died there. Okay, let's just not die again. You know, two times is enough for my favorite level. That's good enough for me. We are slowly making it through, but... You can just see the difficulty ramp up. I'm also only playing this on normal speed. You can only imagine what the fast and intense speeds are like. Before I was planning on doing these speed runs, I had never beaten this game before, actually. The biggest reason was I was using school computers and we usually didn't have time to play 50 levels, especially when I was not the greatest video game player when I was a kid. But with doing these speed runs, this is my first time actually going through and beating this game. And I don't even think I got to these levels when I was a kid. You know, you had to do the sly, play the game, but make sure the teacher does see you playing a game even though you are done with your work so it really shouldn't matter but teachers get mad at that for some reason oh my god oh that was so close and way too nerve-wracking for what run should give me right now i guarantee there are going to be people in the comments who are making fun of me for getting so intense about this game but look it's addictive and it's hard making it to the end of that level and we're on the red area i believe this is now the last 10 levels i could be wrong i really wish i made splits for myself i don't know why i didn't for most of my levels i don't like having splits because i just like my ugh, stuff having more of a bare bones look but i mean for these flash games we have the area anyway, so I probably should have done it, but we're not going to worry about that now. What I'm going to worry about is not dying here for no reason. Oh no, it's this level. Okay, this is one of my worst levels and I die on it way too much. Come on, I just need to make the jumps, please. I do not want my run to end here. Okay, that's going to make me help my run end here and I can't even talk right now. Oh my god. There we go, that's all I need to do. <laughs> Please don't have that happen again. Okay, we made it that time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was talking a little too soon at the last one. <laughs> okay, I just need to calm down. We need to play smart and we can make it through the rest of this level. But wow, this is... This is not going as well as I would have hoped for. At least we got that level done with no deaths. We're getting to redder and redder areas. Basically for the rest of the game, we're getting more and more red because I guess red is dead. <laughs> it raises your heart rate. You see the alert and then you die there for no reason at all. Like literally there was zero reason to actually go ahead and die there. But you know, you just felt like it, I guess. And I'm saying you, but I'm talking about me. It's whatever. We're going to make it through this. All right. 
Oh, I hate those jumps. Those jumps are so risky because I feel like I'm just going to miss them and then ruin my entire run. But I guess my run is already ruined just from me being bad at the game. But here I'm definitely going to use the walls more. It'll give me a tiny bit more time and then I can also miss them and have fun with that and get to play the level again. I've already made that joke. I probably shouldn't have made it a second time. Oh, we're getting to some intense levels right now. And as you can see, less and less platforms and more and more mistakes that can be made. I mean, it makes sense. It is the end of the game. And how do I keep missing that? Okay. It's all right. I just need to make those jumps. They're not that hard. Just make that jump, please. Thank you. And we can move on. Isn't that great? Ooh, this is so scary right now, but it's okay. Everything is okay. I just have to be smart about this. I don't have to make stupid mistakes, which I already know I'm going to make. And I'm getting more and more nervous. Jesus. Oh, my heart rate is so high right now. I don't even want to know what it is. Maybe it's a good idea. I don't have a heart rate monitor. Okay, less and less platforms. That's okay. Oh my God, no, dude. I guess it wasn't okay. It's all right. We're going to make it through this. We're almost at the end. Okay, that was a good one. Another reason why I really wish I had splits. I really wish I could know how many more levels I have to do. Because right now I'm just guesstimating. It's probably like three more, but I could be very wrong there. Okay, that was a, that was a sequence of events. Please don't die here, me. Thank you. And this is the second to last level, I believe. This is going to be one that has to take a lot of focus. Okay. Nope, okay, or we could just die. That counts as focus, right? That jump is so hard. Okay, sub 20 is possible. We can do this. This is the last level. Oh my god, my heart rate is racing. I forget what is the optimal path to take here, but I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna hope it works and not try to do that. Come on. That was like the last jump and I just choked it. Okay. The intense music has stopped for me too. And it's just like, yeah, you were supposed to win there, bud. <sighs> Come on, now I'm just joking. I I could have ended time by now. We can still get the sub 20 minute. That's all I care about. I just need to focus. One choke breeds another. That's literally what's happening right now. There we go, finally, okay. And we got a 19 minute time. We could have had the sub 19. We might have even been able to have the sub 18, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got ourselves a solid 11th place, just where I belong, below average. But hey, the good thing is, even if we didn't die all those times, we still probably wouldn't have got 10th place. <laughs> and I'm just going to throw this out there. There is a run two and three. So if you want to see that, leave a like on the video and tell me in the comments that's what you want. Both also help me with the YouTube algorithm, so I'd really appreciate it. Also subscribe to the channel. Only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos actually are subscribed. And it's free and you can always unsubscribe, so you might as well. Anyways, enough shilling. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.